Hello everyone, it's me once again, LJP. Um, okay. Whoa. What's this? Wow. I do remember from my previous, one of my previous videos, I actually said that the Koreans are ahead of the game when it comes to technology nowadays. And it's not only the smartphones and so on, but as I said from my previous video, before Google was popularized, uh, they had a search engine called Naver. Uh, before Facebook became globalized and popularized, Koreans already had the uh, social networking called SciWorld. Now, uh, other than that, on the robotic technology point of view, the fourth uh, re uh, industrial revolution side, I was stunned this morning because my wife has sent me a video uh, because she's a week ahead going to Korea than me. So I'm going to join her a week later. But this morning, as soon as she arrived at the Seoul International Airport, she sent me a video clip, which is very interesting. So I'm just going to play it to you right now. So here it goes. Hello, my name is Air Star. Please touch my screen or say my name if you need assistance. Alright, so if you go back to the clip again, so I'll do some explanation here. It has a gigantic screen and also on the back of its head it has a emergency stop so in case it's actually running over a child or doing some stupid stuff you could actually immediately stop the robot to, um, to activate um, the other thing is that uh, this robot apparently speaks uh, four different languages the robot is called um, what is it called air style okay so it actually says in Korean, by the way, I'm going to translate it for you. It says um, in Korean that, hello, my name is Air Star. Uh, you could either press the screen to interact with me or you could say my name to activate me. Um, so it, it, it that's the back side. I think this could also, the body could also be the front side. It just depends on the way how it's the head is tilting. On the message, it actually says, please note, I'm going back to my charger. Um, so I think it's trying to recharge itself. On the front side, the face actually has a very cute um, face, actually. So it blinks like a human, and it also has all these fancy cameras up and down as well on the head, and also the body as well. It also can take photo of you if you want to take a selfie, um, and so on. So this robot is purely function for giving directions to the tourists, anyone who speaks uh, for one of the four different languages, which is Korean, Chinese, uh, and Japanese and English and apparently I think I saw one of the latest news this morning else as, as I was doing this research that um, Australians are spending a lot of money for getting these robots and also the many European countries as well so you're seeing the future here of what you're likely to see on your country on your airport uh, soon and um, I'm quite impressed because this is one of the robots by LG and it's called the Air Star. And not only that, this is one of the many robots you're going to see. Uh, there's also the cleaning robot. It's actually just called LG uh, Cleaning Robot. And that's also that's something you're going to see uh, on the Seoul International Airport. So uh, this is this is, these are all already available in Seoul International Airport for you to see. So once you land there, which I'm going to be there this uh, Sunday, which is quite exciting. You can see all these robots in display. But um, I actually talked to my friend who returned from Seoul uh, today, an architect friend of mine, and he sent me a couple of pictures as well because I was, we were talking about this robotic technology. Apparently, there's a place where you could put it in a coin and there's a robot that can make your cappuccino or coffee. Also, there's a recycling robot. And there's also, I've been told, I don't know whether it's actually in the Seoul International Airport itself, but a shopping robot as well. So it will basically be an interacting um, cartoon robot with an iPad head on it. And it will show you another screen showing that if you, well, if, before you wear these clothes, this is how you look like. So it takes a photo of you and so on. There's, it seems that the Seoul International Airport uh, at the moment has loads of... Um, 
robots that are available. So first thing what I'm going to do this Sunday when I land, which I have three hours before my next travel, I'm going to run around like headless chicken looking for these robots. Uh, I'm going to heckle them as much as I can, uh, take a photo, tease them as much as I can to show you what's really going on, to show you what the future technology is going to be on your airport that you're going to visiting in, in the near future because loads of different countries are trying to buy these uh, robots that's produced by LG. So I'm very excited about it and I just want to share this with you because I know many of you, my viewers nowadays are Vector fan. Vector is just a start as what they say on the Anki, Anki's website but we're also going to see all these robotic technologies happening in our time as well. It's a ex very exciting time. I know many of you are going to immediately, immediately going to think, oh, but these robots are taking away all the hard laboring jobs, for example, cleaning and, um, and guiding and, and etc. But we, all, we, we should all remember Jack Ma also actually said on one of his inspirational words that during the time when the car was invented, everyone went crazy because they thought they're all going to lose their job. But in fact, these technology creates job. So I, my advice to you is that think ahead, look ahead on the what what sort of chance you can get. There's always a chance in, in, in your life that you could become very successful. And I think this upcoming robotic technology is a very interesting time that you should closely monitor yourself um, otherwise, you're going to end up working for someone rather than being the head of the whole game uh, and so on. I think richer people are going to get much richer uh, because robots are going to cost cheaper than the labor cost. Uh, because recently in New York and California, for example, they raised the minimum tax up to $15 an hour. A lot of people are going to lose company and lose their job uh, because robots are taking over all these uh, jobs, you see. So you got to look ahead. And I just want to be someone who are warning you in a good way, in a positive way that plan ahead and be successful. Because in Korea at the moment, robots are taking over uh, the whole airport. And I'm very excited. So I am going to film this, hopefully film some of the robots when I arrive. And I'm, I'll try to upload as much as I can while I'm away. Um, but if not, I'll definitely come back to you if I manage to capture some of the robots. And um, it's, it's an ex exciting time, actually. Um, so anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. I uh, hope this gave you a bit of an insight on what future technology uh, lies ahead. And Koreans are have always been ahead of the game. So remember that. So thank you very much. This is LJP. All the best. Bye-bye.